The city's decision to keep Chick-fil-A out of airport concessions is getting more attention every day. Texas Attorney General Paxton has opened an investigation into whether the council vote violated state law. Now the First Liberty Institute has sent a letter to the U.S. Transportation Secretary claiming the federal government is now legally obligated to discontinue all federal grant money to San Antonio Airport Improvement Projects. District 8 City Councilman Manny Pelias, who voted in favor of blocking Chick-fil-A, says he now regrets that decision. Pelias says he based his decision in part on inaccurate information about the company's charitable contributions. Our business news update now with Tony Casada from the San Antonio Business Journal. The University of the Incarnate Word will decide next week whether to bid on the nearly 350,000 square foot AT&T building and its 10-acre campus on Broadway Street. UIW Vice President of Business and Finance Doug Ensley said the university has a number in mind for a bid, but that its board and other top officials need to confer before a decision is made. The building was last assessed for $17 million by the Bear County Appraisal District and bids are being accepted until April 12th. Charles Wooden has been named interim CEO of Geekdom, the tech-centric co-working space downtown. Wooden replaces David Garcia, who is stepping away after being CEO since 2017. Thanks, Tony. Links to these stories at klrn.org news.